hello friends once again welcome you to my channel so in our last video we were looking at single bus cpu organization what does it mean and the connections and all we were looking at but we are yet to complete that topic so we'll start from where we have left in the previous video so see already you remember this pc is bidirectional because value from m uh, value of pc is given to mar via the bus then incremented value of pc will go from alu to the pc due to that this is bidirectional mar is taking address giving to the memory module mdr read and write both are possible holding the data coming from memory or uh, going to the memory for a store operation and the most important part alu performs most of the operations the operations performed by the alu they are mostly binary operations we require two inputs to perform an add or any operation so one of the input will come from the bus but the another input cannot come from the bus at the same time so due to that beforehand we will keep another operand in the y register right and we know for every instruction execution we increment pc by 4 so that will be also done by alu so that 4 is hardwired here so 4 or the content of y will be one of the input of your alu so which input you are going to work that depends on the value of select line one select line can select out of the two one output for the multiplexer hope you know about multiplexer also and then alu will perform the operation and result will be given in z register please understand what is the need of y and z register the need is only due to single bus cpu organization done then the right side part is your c uh, the instruction that will come from memory will come from the memory module will come from your memory module this is side memory module is connected it will come into mdr from mdr it will be given to ir then irc internally it is connected to your decoder so whatever is there in the ir that is connected to the input of your decoder then based on whatever combination bit combination are coming decoder will produce various control signals so those control signals will be connected to your alu or the registers whatever we need to activate or will be giving it on the bus right so those connections are not shown here directly simply we have written control signals they will go to the appropriate component for whom they are uh, generated right so this part is done then we have your <coughs> general purpose registers r not through r n minus 1 <coughs> to this registers value will go to the bus to go to alu or to memory or anywhere or the value may come to this registers so due to that the lines are bidirectional temp is also one of the temporary register it is also not programmer visible what does it mean we cannot use this temp register as an operand in our assembly language instructions so these are all bidirectional uh, the connections are there and do understand this a and b are not registers so here they are just representing the names of the two inputs that is there for the alu so this is our single bus cpu organization using this organization we are going to generate the various control signals that are required while performing while executing an instruction that part includes fetching the instruction decoding the instruction updating the value of pc then getting the operand from wherever they are maybe register maybe memory and then doing the operation so this whole thing we will do using this particular organization so this diagram we need to keep in mind looking at this connections only we will be doing suppose uh, we need to give some value in mar for fetching one instruction then pc content has to be put on the bus then from the bus data will be taken into mar like that it is there and this side your memory module is connected right so next i am coming to hope this part is clear then next i am coming to whenever we are performing any instruction whenever we are executing any instruction then basically we will be doing uh, four different operations in some sequence in most of the cases but it is not exactly 100% true some deviations are there some exceptions are there but mostly whenever we perform 
or I should say whenever we execute an instruction we perform there are four basic set of operations the first one is transfer a word of data from one processor register to another or to the ALU because values may trans see from the uh, from PC we are giving the value into MAR then we are doing something then sometime from MDR we are giving the value into ALU basically what we need to do we need to do register and transfer from one register to another register we need to transfer the content maybe from R1 to R2 as part of execution whatever I said that part was there in part as a uh, as the, uh, patch part of your instruction then another operation is perform an arithmetic or a logical operation and store the result in a processor register so see we can uh, we need to perform this operation so who will perform this operation alu will do the perform operation so before uh, uh, giving the signal to the alu to perform the operation whatever be the arithmetic or logic operation it has to do before that we need to make available both the inputs at the inputs of the alu that is a and b inputs of the alu both the operands will first make available at a and b input of the alu then we give the signal to perform add or whatever you need to perform and then the result will be given to the required register or to the memory then another one is here fetch the contents of a given memory location and load them into a processor register this also we need to do because whenever we are doing operation we are transferring data from one register to another that are those are there as part of cpu or you are sending it to the alu then you can perform various operation inside the uh, cpu by the component alu and then another two operations we mostly perform getting something from memory or storing something into memory so fetch the contents of a given memory location and load them into a processor register and then <coughs> store a word of data from a processor register into a given memory location so these four operations we need to perform in some sequence to execute one instruction and see then these are just i explained that these operations we need to do so when we need to do what signals we need to generate that part we are going to see next right like suppose you are fetching something from a given memory location that means what fetching something from given memory location involves what giving the address that given address it is said so it may be in some register maybe some summation result is my address maybe due to index mode that value has to be given to whom that value has to be given into MAR right our protocol we remember the address will be given to MAR then we generate the read signal right and then we need to wait because memory will not be able to give us the data immediately so we have to wait and then our data will come in MDR then wherever you need to take it to a processor register or to the ALU we will do it accordingly and to store something what was the logic to store something what we used to do so see you want to store something so that 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 something we are interested and in where to store so that given memory location value will be given to MAR means to this location we want to transfer one data what is the data you want to write that will give in MDR then we generate the write signal and then we wait for the operation to complete right so these are the steps that we have also seen in our uh, chapter one videos right so if you have forgot these steps then you can watch again the uh, chapter one videos for performing basic operational concept right so from there only we will borrow the concepts and here we will generate the signals. Then next first I am going to discuss how a word of data from one register to another register is transferred. Right. So that we will see next. Because these four operations we need to understand first. Then these four operations we will be doing in some sequence repeatedly to execute one complete instruction. So first I am coming to register transfer operation suppose this is my instruction move r1 comma r2 that means here what i want to do content of register r1 need to be moved to register r2 right so for that what you have to do is see you see your diagram this diagram move r1 comma r2 so from here one register okay i'll draw it here only so see in your bus 
here one register r1 is there and one register r2 is there right so see from r1 the data has to go to bus then from the bus the data will come to r2 that you need to do so see to transfer the content of register onto the bus for that for every register there is one signal associated the name of that signal is r1 or see ri because if for any register it is applicable ri out that means when this signal is on then the content of the register ri will be placed onto the bus and if i write ri in that means whatever is the content on the bus that will be placed into register ri this is for giving from the register this is getting into the register right and see uh, actually see each register this register ri any register ri is connected to the bus via two switches actually it is connected via two switches to the bus the these are represented as uh, your switches so see whenever you want to uh, and these switches are controlled via two signals this switch this is for say in so it is ri in right and this is uh, this signal is ri out so see whenever this signal is on means whenever this signal is on that time only whatever content of ri is there that will be placed on the bus via the switch right else not though the connection is there but nothing will be placed from the register onto the bus when the switch is on then only there is a connection between this part and the content of ri will be placed on the bus and ri in that means here always see for every register you have seen that connection by directional connection is there but then also the content of the bus will not come to the register or the content of the register will not go to the bus only when it will go when this signal is on then the content will go to the bus and when this signal is on then the content of the bus will come to the register right so now see what we are doing is what we have to do move r1 comma r2 that means content of r1 has to be transferred to r2 and we know in our diagram there is no connection between r1 and r2 direct connection there is no direct connection between r1 and r2 they are all connected via the bus so what you have to do you need to transfer the content on the bus and get the content of the bus into r2 so what we will write r1 out r2 in that will do the job hope you are getting it so see this i have done a very simple operation actually i have not executed the complete instruction means i have not fast decoded only i am telling you the execution part of the instruction what are the signals involved so whenever i am executing the content of r1 will be placed on the bus and then uh, the content of the bus will be taken into register r2 so in the beginning of the clock cycle content of both the signals will be on and that register content will go to the bus and by the end of the clock cycle the content of the bus will enter the register r2 so this is about register transfer operation in the next video we will see the remaining three basic operations then slowly we will move to executing an instruction so till then thank you so much and if you are getting from my explanations and please like my videos and subscribe to my channel thank you